Perfect. Uh, all right, let's keep it going. Uh, we're going to the seventh team. Uh, that's PT Fatiha Sakti uh, Gadjian from Indonesia. Now, Gadjian provides a cloud-based human resources management and payroll software platform that allows organizations to keep track of employees' personal details, pay and income tax deductions, attendance records, sick and leave days, and so on and so on. Now, you have five minutes. Jumpstart your dreams now. Good afternoon. I'll start my presentation with a story of an inspiring woman who happens to be one of our customers. This lady in the white shirt is Ayu. Ayu is a Harvard graduate who one day returned to Indonesia after she discovered that women in one poor area in Indonesia have higher miscarriage rate compared to the national average. assembled a, a talented team and established a business that designs and sells weaving goods made by, made by these women. Her business is currently flourishing and is currently providing livelihood to dozens of low-income families. However, Ayu's own business is facing its own challenges. You see, in Indonesia, is the number one problem for more than 50% 50, 50 of Indonesian companies, big or small. The, talent, the limited talent pool in the country increases salary level disproportionately, making it increasingly expensive, for, uh, expensive and challenging for IU's business and million, of more SM, million more SMEs to acquire and retain talent, talent. But we believe that there is an underleveraged solution for this problem, which is employee benefits. A competitive employee benefit program, we believe, can leverage an, a small company's capability to recruit and retain valuable talents to grow a business to the next level. However, for millions of SMEs in Indonesia, employee benefits such as payday loan, insurance, or wellness programs are largely inaccessible, inconvenient to administer, and cost ineffective. In summary, this is what the talent market looks like. On one side, there are the employers who need cost-effective talent retention solution. On the other hand, there are employees who desire a fulfilling job that can also assure them a better life quality. And on the other side, there are the multi-billion dollar benefits industries ranging from insurance companies, financial services companies, and wellness providers who are in the lookout for new markets. This is the gap that we're trying to bridge with our SaaS-enabled employee benefits platform. Benefide is a one-stop shop employee benefit marketplace that connects the multiple stakeholders in Indonesia's talent market on a free platform model. On this platform, employees can choose from multiple affordable benefit options that will help to improve employees' retention. While companies such as insurance, fintech, banks, wealth management, and lifestyle companies can have access to a new high growth and untapped market, the millions of SMEs in Indonesia and their employees. Our unfair advantage is our SaaS-enabled business model. Benefide is powered by two established HR SaaS platforms in the payroll and attendance tracking space. It means that it automatically has access to our existing 1,200 plus company clients and their 50,000 plus employees at $0 acquisition cost. The SaaS-enabled B2B2C marketplace model sets Benefide apart from other players in the same space. Currently, we have, partnered, we have partnered with renowned players in the financial services, insurance, and wellness industries in Indonesia. We are also partnering with leading HR consultant, Mercer Marsh Benefits, as part of our go-to-market strategy. With these strong partnerships and a growing client base from our SaaS platforms, we are confident to grow our revenue five times in the next two years. Benefide, just like Alibaba, is founded by former teachers who are passionate about nurturing talents and SMEs. In addition to participating in Jumpstarter, last December, I also had the privilege to participate in another program also supported by Alibaba Entrepreneurs Fund, which is the Alibaba eFounders Fellowship Program. Since raising external funding, we have been joined by a team with strong knowledge and experience in B2B sales, HR, and employee benefits. We are excited to join the competition today because we are looking forward to collaborate with Hong Kong's reputable financial services fintech, insurance, and hospitality industry players. We understand that the city of Hong Kong recently has had its economic challenges. 
Indonesia is the fourth largest country, one of the fastest growing economies in the world. this market opportunity with Hong Kong's core strength as financial and services hub to grow the two markets together. We are looking forward to working with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, that was great. Actually, just a gentle reminder, because at the beginning, um, I'm not sure if you were aware, but there was a small section when you were talking about, I, I believe the slide was talking about there's a huge war that you uh, that you guys are fighting in, in Indonesia, that you were talking about the problem that you got cut off for like a good uh, 20 seconds. So uh, perhaps when you were integrating, uh, some, when you're answering some of these questions, you could probably regurgitate a little bit of that for clarity, because uh, I, I see that like there was no sound coming through. Um, now, this is the Q&A session that's coming through, um, and I was just going to see if our judges are ready if you are ready please do feel free to pose your questions we have three minutes for that but very good presentation nonetheless thank you all right marissa she wants to know what is your advantage over the competitors that you identify for example a swing v and cxa group yes uh, as i mentioned our main competitive advantage is being SaaS enabled so um in one of my slides, I, I mentioned that uh, having already uh, more than 1,200 paying clients and 50,000 employees under management, meaning that uh, our employee benefit platform doesn't have to start from scratch when it, uh, it comes to uh, tapping into the SME customer base. Thank you so much. Please keep the questions coming through. And let's see. Do your judges have any other questions that you would like to have answered? Uh, Marissa, is your solution targeted at the Indonesian market? So uh, because we are currently based in Indonesia, uh, this is the market that we are going to focus on right now. But we already have an increasing customer base in Malaysia, actually. Uh, so uh, we, are, we are planning a regional expansion plan. Thank you. And Raymond wants to know, existing large corporate has been using different enterprise resource management systems for HR management. How do you persuade them to change? Oh, uh, so, so the value proposition for, um, for um, Benefide is an employee uh, benefit uh, marketplace. So even existing HR solutions for enterprises currently uh, don't have this. Uh, and uh, because flexible benefits is, is a new uh, model in HR, and so this is, uh, and because we are working, we are an open platform. That means that we have more solutions uh, on the platform uh, compared to uh, if they have it uh, a close uh, as a close close platform. Thank you very much. With just under a minute, do we have any other questions from our judges that's in the panel right now? Anything else coming through? All right, if there's nothing coming through, I will close the Q&A session. Just give it a couple more seconds in case there's some delays coming on through my side. All right, it looks like that's it for the questions. Thank you so much for the presentations. Thank you so much to uh, our judges.